Hi, my name is Kara and I'm here as a driver recruiter here at Schneider. Uh, here with me today I do have Patty. Patty is a driver business leader here at Schneider and we are going to discuss um, kind of once you've completed orientation and you're going to get out on the road by yourself, how that first zero to 90 day days goes for you. Um, so Patty? I'm Patty Seidel, uh, former driver here at Schneider, uh, also a former trainer and uh, instructor. I uh, taken this role to be able to assist um, new drivers been with Schneider for 16 and a half years. Perfect. So again, my name is Kara. We are going to go ahead and we're going to discuss uh, more in detail what you can expect when you're going to go out over the road um, or whichever position that you choose to go to in that first zero to 90 days as an inexperienced driver. Really those first zero to 90 days are really crucial in the success that you're going to have in your position. Um, so there's a lot of new learning material that you have to go through, kind of things that you need to decipher and figure out on your own, um, how you're going to have that lifestyle in the truck and how you're going to prepare your lifestyle for the people that you have at home. So a whole lot of things that we're going to um, we're going to talk about today. Uh, we've got some questions that we're going to go ahead and answer for you right away, but feel free to comment um, and ask questions as we go and we'll try to get to them as we go. Um, so first question that uh, I do have for you, Patty, is, you know, kind of let's talk more about your specific role um, as, as having a, a, we call them a zero to 90 day DBL and, and what you do to really help the drivers. Okay, so uh, once you get with your recruiter and you are accepted as a employee here at Schneider, they bring you in for training um, to go over safety and our policies and procedures. I will be your managing DBL here in Green Bay uh, for the first uh, 90 days. We like to be able to help you with your first few loads, walk you through the fundamentals of Schneider and how to be successful as a driver on the truck. So uh, from that point, I get a lot of questions from drivers day to day. So we like to make sure that uh, we can assist you uh, to be successful. Um, so kind of in that transitioning period between orientation and being on the road by yourself, when are you assigned a driver, when, when is a driver assigned a DBL, and how does that exchange go? Okay, usually when they first come in the first day is usually on a Tuesday, uh, or excuse me, on a Monday. That Tuesday morning I will meet you for approximately one hour. Uh, we sit down and set expectations. So we tell you like as a new driver, you're going to be learning uh, our safety policies. They're going to take you to the truck to see how you've been doing because now you're coming in with the CDL. So we want to make sure that you know our safety policies. So we want to make sure you can couple, uncouple at the truck. Uh, we call that um, procedure um, making sure that you're able to drive the truck, uh, making sure that when you come in you can operate our uh, Qualcomm to be able to tell us that you're at a customer, you've picked up this equipment. Uh, from that point, we will be teaching you the basics of trip planning and working with you with your loads. And that takes approximately a week for real time at truck. And then from that point, we get you out with a training engineer. And that's a former driver that's here that's trained to take you out on the road and you'll pull their loads. Um, the truck will always function as a solo truck uh, and we work with them from that point. Perfect, awesome. Now, once the training is completed and then they go out on the road by themselves as, as a Schneider driver, mm -hmm. how does that exchange work? Well, we sit down when you graduate. Um, usually you graduate on a Friday morning. We have a graduation. And then we will sit down with you. As me being your DBL, we would sit down and set expectations. So if Tara was one of my drivers, I would sit down and we would go over making sure you understand the tollways. Where's your truck at? How am I gonna get you to your truck? Um, are you set up at home for family? So are you gonna come out on Monday or do you wanna to start tomorrow morning? Uh, setting good expectations, but once you get at your truck, and I will get you there, uh, either by rental car uh, from Schneider, taking care of it, the company business to pay you to go to your truck. We will set all expectations, making sure you know how to get there, where's the truck, where's the keys. We'll get it all set up, and then you'll give me a call. We'll walk through making sure you understand the fundamentals of the truck, and you'll get a DOT break, and then we will start you out the next morning with your truck. Now, if you're here in Green Bay and the truck is here and you live here, then we'll start you out with your first load that day. But it all depends on 
So Tara, if you want to come out on Monday or you have things because you've been away for school, mm -hmm. do you have things that you need to take care of over the weekend and we start Monday or you're ready to go today? So we would rather start you the next day so you get a full DOT break in. Sure. I'm glad you made that point. Uh, a, a lot of questions that we get on the recruiting side of things is how does that transition work? And, and it's nice to know that it can be kind of flexible based upon what their needs are. Absolutely. So that's good. Um, again, I want to reintroduce ourselves again. My name is Kara. We are going to go ahead and discuss kind of the process of initially getting started here at Schneider in your first zero to 90 days that are going to be really cr crucial to your success. And I'm here with Patty. And I'm a DBL here at Schneider, former driver. So send us your questions. She's got a lot of great experience, a lot of good insight. Um, so very, very knowledgeable, been in the industry a long time and had family in the industry too. So, Absolutely. so she's got a lot of great knowledge. So feel free to ask us your questions. We're going to kind of go through those here and, and be able to answer your questions here live for the next, uh, couple 25 more minutes. Um, so stick with us now, as far as being a trainer yourself, um, at one time, our trainers, how much experience do they need to have? Why are, why are they considered such? is a high standard of trainer the biggest thing with our trainers and me being a former GE we have to make sure that the trainer is comfortable with being able to express how our safety and core values are here at Schneider um, everybody is has to come in and go through a qualification time but we ask that any driver that is here at our company has an outstanding safety record before they can become a trainer and from that point that they have been successful through our policies of bonus, uh, meeting their qualifications for MPG, um, and also making sure that they understand all varieties of our customer care. Um, because our number one thing here is service at Schneider. We need to provide service to our customers. If we don't do that, then we wouldn't need drivers, right? Because we wouldn't have any customers. So I always like to refer to, it's the cable guy that never shows up. So we want to make sure that everyone understands what they need to be doing. And then that TE will work with you setting expectations to know what run they do, what their job is as a trainer, what their job is as a driver. And they will take you on their truck and now you're going to be pulling their loads that they normally pull. So we got to make sure everybody kind of gets along. So we want to make sure that there's no issues. So perfect, perfect. Uh, we've got a couple questions coming in here. Uh, one of them is going to be about tuition reimbursement. So great question, Corey. Uh, tuition reimbursement, the paperwork that you need for that. Um, basically, what we need from you is is paperwork either showing how you paid for your schooling. So whether that was by cash. Uh, whether you got that financed and through a lender and however much that tuition was you're going to provide that to your recruiter we'll go ahead and the, as a recruiter we'll enter that tuition reimbursement for you um, and then you can um, expect that after that you're going to be eligible to receive that after being with us for your first 30 days um, and then mark has another good question he's out in california here and so would he go to green bay for training good question um, it really depends on a lot of things we have orientation sites all across the US. Um, so you could potentially go to Green Bay, yes. There are other closer locations, Phoenix being one of them that you could potentially go to as well. Um, you know, our tanker division has orientation sites in Texas and in Pennsylvania uh, specifically. So if you're going tanker, you would go to either one of those locations. So there's a lot of things that um, could decipher where you're going to go to for your specific orientation. And Randy says hi. Hi, Randy. <laughs> He's in Janesville, Wisconsin right now. All right, um, so we're going to go ahead and move into, you know, Patty, what do you think are the biggest misconceptions that drivers have in their first 90 days that you see? I think that's a great question. <laughs> so I think the biggest misconception is the job itself. So I want to just reach out and say, as a new driver, I get it. But for you to be successful as a driver, you have to set your family up for success when you leave because this job is considered over the road, so you're not home every night. So if Tara was my spouse, when I leave out on the road, I could be gone for two weeks. So I would want Tara to be set up so we had snow here yesterday. Who's gonna help her with the snow? If I have children, who's gonna help her with the children? What if someone's sick? How do we get them home from daycare if that's what we need to set up? 
Or if, if you're not married, but you have an apartment, right? And you're responsible for that apartment, but you're out on the road for two weeks. Who's getting your mail? Mm -hmm. You know, you some sometimes these mailboxes are small, so who's gonna pick up your packages? Or if you have a desire just to put your things in a 30-day, um, they have these storage units, and you decide to go out on the road, you can take your time at home and other places within Schneider's territory. You know, we go to all states, exception of Alaska and Hawaii. I want to make sure you know that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we pretty much can get you to a park location so you can do your time at home and if you decided to do it in Charlotte. We mm -hmm. have an operating center there. We'll work with you. Uh, but preparing your family at home is the number one, I think, misconception of the job. Sure. Sure. Good. Good. I'm glad you mentioned that. Also glad that you mentioned uh, Hawaii and Alaska. Uh, now, while we don't drive trucks in Hawaii and Alaska, one other great opportunity that we have is going to be that jet set program, uh, where basically what we will do is we will fly you to the 48 states here. Um, you can drive for three weeks at a time, and then we're going to fly you back to either Hawaii or Alaska for a week home with your family. So another great opportunity that you can utilize, um, still drive truck and be very much successful and still live in Hawaii or Alaska. All right, um, so now what do you think, you know, you talked about the families and setting that yourself up uh, as a driver and the families up for success to be successful. Besides that, what is, what is the hardest part of the first 90 days that you see from a driver's standpoint as far as, is it the trucks? Is it, you know, figuring out where to eat or getting your miles? What would you? I think the biggest thing is that get just getting the fundamentals. So now you've been successful, you've completed everything here at Schneider. Day one is always gonna be that first load, you're gonna be very nervous. So I'm here to help you. I'm gonna have a daily check call with you. We're gonna walk you through your loads, but you don't know how to read a map. Well, we've taught you how to read the map. So we're gonna to work together to make sure we trip plan it together. Sure. I have nine people that work with me directly. So if I'm busy with Tara on the phone, walking you through that trip plan, I have other managers that are in my group that will get that phone call and we're gonna to touch base. You know, it might be Missy on the other line that wants to talk to me because we're gonna go through her trip plan. Mm -hmm. So she might be talking to Jeff and Jeff will walk her through the same trip plan of where she needs to be. And then we're gonna mention truck stops. So we're gonna show her how to find the truck stops. We have a great GPS system on our uh, Qualcomm in the truck. We also refer to Trucker Path. Mm -hmm. That is a great tool out there and it's an app. It helps you identify where all the truck stops are at, where the rest areas are at, where super Walmarts are at so you can get food. So we have driver advisors here that are under me and all of our operating centers for the zero to 90 day DBLs. They have them at their beck and call. These are real drivers that will talk to you and walk you through these things and they work hand in hand with us as DBLs. That's awesome. What would you say, so being a zero to 90 day DBL and then a, if you will, regular or traditional DBL, what are the biggest differences? I think, well, the biggest thing is you're my zero to 90 day driver. I'm going to be promoting you in 90 days after you've gotten through the kindergarten side of it, <laughs> right? Because, you know, you're stumbling through things. We don't expect you to remember all these things. You've been overwhelmed with a lot of stuff. We want to walk you through step by step so you get the fundamentals and get a routine, time management, being able to get these things taken care of. So when you get done with your 90 days, we're going to do what we call a safe track. This is going to be like, hey, Tara, I've been able to do all these skills. I've had no incidences. I'm successful. Now you're begging for the miles. Now you want more miles. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to say, Tara, guess what? I'm going to set you up for safe tracks. And basically they're gonna review all your trip plans, your logging, and they're gonna make sure that, can you earn your bonus here at Schneider? Sure. Are you setting yourself up for success? So, you know, it's it's that's your office. We want you to be able to be promoted, right? You wanna be able yeah. to be, so I promote you onto your permanent manager within my group. So Jeff might be your driver manager now, and I take you off what I call my, my kindergarten group because we want you to feel comfortable with doing the job. If you come in and you've got your act together and the fundamentals, you know how to operate and you've got that time management down, 
then you will go right through this and be very comfortable with our skill qualification testing. Uh, we want it for you as safety, mm -hmm. but we also want you to know the basics of it so you can be successful. Sure. We take the training wheels off. <laughs> there you go. That's a good way to put Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's we a take great that way to put it. Wheels off. <laughs> awesome. Now, you said you check in with your drivers every single day. Yes. Is there an expectation and how often they should be checking in with you kind of once you know you get past this daily checking point or what I always do is I ask them on expectations between the hours of 7.15 and 3 p.m. every day, I want to hear from them. Because mm -hmm. I want to know if Tara has a good trip plan, mm -hmm. that she knows where she's going to park the night, and that she has a backup plan if that parking location, she gets there late and there's no parking. Okay. So she has plenty of time. And if she's put on an expedited load, a critical load that's got to deliver, that we've trip planned it good so she can make the customer service and still get parked and legal for her next day start. Sure. So a variety of things we go through with each driver and it, you know, Terry, you might've had a phone call from, from your spouse last night. Mm -hmm. uh, might've not been a good phone call or you know, you're homesick mm -hmm. and we wanna make sure that you've gotten good rest or the driver next to you might have what we call a reefer unit, a refrigerated unit, might've kept you up all night. So you might be tired. Yeah. So we might have to push that appointment out so you can get quality rest. Uh, we always want you to drive safe and legal, and we want you to know that is what we stick to, so there's no exceptions here. Sure. So safety first. Awesome, good. We're getting a lot of great questions here on the feed regarding how do you apply uh, and what, what you do to apply. Uh, a couple different ways that you can do that. You can always go to our Schneider Jobs website. Um, so what you're going to want to do is put in the zip code that you're going to want to drive out of and there's going to be a list of positions that are going to be available for you to look at and in big bright orange letters it's going to say apply now. Um, so that's one way to do it. The other way you can apply is if you go and give us a call. Um, the phone number is going to be 1-800-44-PRIDE. I believe it's going to be listed in the feed as well so you can see that written out. Um, you're going to be talking to a recruiter then. They're going to go over and be able to kind of uh, create a profile for you, send you an email for you to be able to finish that full application. Um, you'll get set up with a recruiter and, and get an appointment to complete an interview at that time. And that's kind of how it goes. Uh, we, we do try to make this as quick as a, a process for you as possible. Should take within a couple days, you should be able to be set up with a recruiter and get an interview completed um, to be able to figure out your next steps. Uh, and again, my name is Kara. We are here. We're going to go ahead and we're still discussing the process between the zero to 90 day um, portion of your first figuring out how to drive here at Schneider. And I'm here with Patty. Patty here is a DBL here for us and she's been here for 16 years. Yep, 16 years. Perfect. Um, so let's see here. Continuing on kind of talking about these zero to 90 days. Um, you know, how many drivers do you work with as a zero to 90 day DBL? Well, it varies because, of course, you know, I promote drivers on a daily basis because mm -hmm. everybody comes in the training at different dates. Um, but normally, as a zero to 90 day, we deal with about 30 to 32 drivers on our board. Sure. And understand, I gradually wean you off the training wheels after sure. two weeks. If, you, if you're able to trip plan and able to get from point A to point B and we've got your time management down, mm -hmm. Now, after a couple of weeks, I say, Tara, you don't have to do the check call every day, but I want you to send me a message from the Qualcomm so I know everything's okay. Sure. But it's okay to call me. Mm -hmm. Call me and let me know how I can help you because that's my job here for you. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to touch on one more thing that we talked about a minute ago about the misconceptions. Yeah. I just want the drivers to know, as a zero to 90 day driver, you're not going to get, I want you to come in and understand the miles that you can run. You can't do 3,000 miles in a week unless everything is just perfect. I want you to understand coming into Schneider, you're going to be coming into a great company for safety, okay? That's your safety and the people around you. Mm -hmm. The expectations for new drivers should always be looking at is each load doing it safe, legal and getting your fundamentals under control. So I always like to tell them on graduation, the first couple of weeks, you're gonna stumble. You might get a thousand miles this week. You could get 1200 miles this week. It all depends on each individual. 
you know, when I start a new job, you're going to be fumbling with the computer if it's a desk job, or you're going to be learning that map and how to trip plan. Because guess what? You're the only one in the truck. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to, me and you are going to do it together. You've never been to Pennsylvania before. You've never seen that road. You've never been out of Wisconsin. Okay, so let me help you and let's open the map. So it's gonna take you a little longer. So even though DOT says we can drive 11 hours, you know, work 14, mm -hmm. the concept is you might only get eight hours today driving because you need to be able to take that DOT break and be able to eat, take care of your necessities out there. You have to stop and take a shower. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to make sure you're getting quality rest and the other thing is you have to plan your trip. So, you know, I can sit here and tell you, I know I had to get from Wisconsin to Pennsylvania and I could tell you the roads to travel, but with Tara being new at it, she doesn't know what I-70 looks like. She's never been there. She doesn't know how to get through Chicago. She's driven in a car, but she hasn't been there maybe in a truck. Mm -hmm. So it's slower, it takes time. So expectations, I just want you to understand the miles are there but baby steps. Sure. Okay. Sure. I think that's great advice. Phenomenal advice. Um, we've got a couple more questions coming in asking about our automatic transmissions or if we have manual transmissions. Um, good question. So we're still currently in the process of transitioning over from those manual or the manual transmissions to the automatics. We're about what 60% of the way there right now. I think we're a little bit more than that because okay. I will tell you my entire graduation class right now is getting in autos. Oh, um, awesome. I love them and as a million and a half mile driver at this company, I can tell you it saves the knees. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have drivers that, I mean, that have more miles than me here at this company mm -hmm. uh, and they will tell you that they will not get out of that auto now, but they didn't want to get in it to begin with. The misconception. It is a nice machine. I mean, I love it. That Those autos make things so much easier. You know, think about that. I'm in a traffic jam in Chicago. Oh, yeah. The driver that's on a clutch over there, his left leg's getting a little sore <laughs> and that knee is getting a workout. And I'm sitting there in an automatic going, yay. <laughs> you know, so it, there's benefits to a lot. I mean, preferences are great. Um, the manual versus the auto. Um, it just depends on what trucks available and that is my division manager gives me the trucks that we will assign um, some drivers that come in do only drive autos so you know it, it depends on that individual in the class sure sure perfect well good well we want to be sure to let you guys know we're getting a lot of great comments on here so keep it up we're gonna be here for a couple more minutes here answering your questions Feel free to keep asking them after this feed is over. Uh, we will go ahead and answer those questions to you even after this is completed. Uh, feel free to share this as well. So share away so everyone else can see it that couldn't possibly join us here right now at this very moment. Um, another great thing talking about the, the transitioning over to manuals to automatics, uh, we do have a blog. It's called a slice of orange that you can go to as well. You can access that through the Schneider Jobs website. Um, so one specific blog in there is about transitioning over from those manuals to automatics, but there's a ton of other blogs in there with a whole lot of information. A, a lot of the questions that you guys are asking can be answered through those blog posts or even just doing your research on schneiderjobs.com. Um, there's specific ones about the military, there's sp specific ones about women in driving. Um, so a lot of great things in that slice of orange blog posts that you guys can go ahead and, and access and, and learn much more about. Um, now, so how long would you say a typical driver takes to feel comfortable on their own caddy? I have had drivers that have um, prior military that mm -hmm. feel comfortable, you know, day three out there. They just have to get used to it again, right? Or that driver that's never been out of their state. Uh, it could take maybe a week. It could take a couple of weeks. Um, I have drivers that... Um, it, it varies with the individual, but I would tell you, for you to get really, really comfortable, um, I think you should give yourself at least that first month before you make any major hasty decisions in your mindset, whether you like it or not, um, because you really have to learn the job and everything you've learned through your CDL school and then coming to Schneider learning what we do here as a company and how to communicate. Mm -hmm. um, it would take you that one month just to get the basics and the fundamentals down. Sure. You know, 
driving the truck is one thing, but there's more than just driving the truck. You have to operate the Qualcomm, communicate through the Qualcomm. So everybody's used to operating a computer at home or texting someone, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we want you to function and operate that Qualcomm when the truck is not moving, okay? So we have policies here and the Qualcomm will only give you a GPS directional um, for your present load. So we would want you to trip plan when you stop, have your plan all out, um, and just getting comfortable with operating that one laptop. I'm sure somebody has had a laptop, they open it up going, now I gotta learn it, you know? <laughs> so it's yeah. our Qualcomm here, you have to learn how, how it functions. So. Sure, perfect. Now what about the app that drivers can use? Can you tell us more about the app? Absolutely, so we have a Compass app, which is fantastic. I'm telling you, um, it allows you to find empty trailers. So if I, as a driver, was sitting at Green Bay and they sent me my work assignment over the Qualcomm and it says find any unknown 53 footer in our parking lot, it will be starring all empty trailers in that area. It is fantastic. So if Tara was driving <laughs> out of Schneider's yard with an empty and maybe it's one of our yards that has a guard post and things like this. Sure. So let's just use it this way. So you're at Shopco mm -hmm. and I'm coming in through the guard shack and you're coming out of the guard shack. We wave at each other, hi Schneider, you know, mm -hmm. and you've got a nice shiny trailer and I see the number on it and now my work assignment says, I was supposed to pick that trailer up. And Tara's like going, see ya. <laughs> and I get in there and now that's okay because the work assignment will the Compass app will tell me other empty trailers they have at that lot. Sure. Or maybe a mile down the road. Sure. Okay. Um, it will also allow you to see your bonus, your benefits, your pay. Um, it will also allow you to go in and find out what's going on in Shiner itself. Mm -hmm. um, good information out there with that allows you to send messages to your manager, um, see your bonus scores, how are you doing in also allows you to find out, I think in general, um, about your work assignment. So your time at home this weekend and yes. you're coming out Monday morning. Your work assignment will show on the Compass app before it hits your truck. So you know what time you need to be at your truck. Oh, you know nice. what load you have. So you know where you're going, you can plan it. You might see it Sunday evening going, okay, I'm going to Dallas, Texas. Fantastic. I can trip plan it, have it all set up, know exactly when I need to be at the truck and when I need to be able to be at the customer to pick the load up. Sure. Perfect. All right. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to take, we're going to ask one final question here. Um, now, this last one is going to be regarding the pilot app. How do you use that pilot app to, uh, to reserve a spot after a long day? Just make a restart or if you do your 10 hour break, how do you do that? Absolutely, so the pilot app that's out there, you can send a message through that to reserve a parking spot. Now, a lot of times here at Schneider, um, reimbursements come through receipts. So if you decide that you're on the East Coast and I'm saying, I'm just gonna say Pennsylvania, and you're, you're in Gary, Indiana now and traveling there, mm -hmm. you can set up, I'm gonna stop at this particular pilot, they might have 200 slots but maybe 10 of them are reserved. You could call ahead reserve, you could send a message in reserve, that parking spot. But understand one thing, always communicate with your manager when you reserve a parking spot. Because we have no problem reimbursing, but there's a certain limit that we allow for reimbursement because we, one, there's parking lots down the road that could charge you $70 to park. Now, I'm sorry, I'm not paying $70. I wouldn't expect you to. And you know, we just want you to be smart about reserving parking sure. spots. But if you get in there early enough, um, and it varies depending on the day and the time of day, um, you might have to do that, especially on the East Coast. Yeah. Everywhere else, we pretty much don't have that much of a problem. But uh, they'll reserve your spot. They'll get your name, your truck number coming in. And when you come in there, you'll check in with them at their shack and they'll take you right over. Awesome. Okay. Well, that pretty much wraps up all the time that we have here today. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, again, don't hesitate to give us a call or visit SchneiderJobs.com. 
The information for those will be listed in the comments section, but it's going to be 1-800-44-PRIDE. That number will get you in contact with information that you can go ahead and either if you want to apply, just ask some questions and get some information. No harm is done by just calling us and, and asking some questions. Um, again, you can fill out applications at the Schneider Jobs website. There's also that blog post on there, the Slice of Orange Patty even has some blog posts specifically on there. Um, so you can go ahead and access those and get a lot of information that way. Um, and then we will be sure to answer the questions in the comments as they came in here that we didn't get to today. So thank you so much for joining us again. I'm Kara. It's been nice talking with all of you. I'm Patty. Have a safe day out there.